Taxable income. Okay, what is taxable income? What is something that is actually taxed based on what you're making in real estate? All right, a property's taxable income is exactly what it means or it suggests. It's the amount of which you must pay federal income taxes on. Perhaps it would be more helpful to identify what taxable is not. Okay, it's not your total rental income. It's not all the money you're bringing in. Not your income also after operating expenses. So it's not also, you're not your NOI. Don't assume you're gonna get taxed on your net operating income either. And it's not your cash flow either, okay? So a lot of you guys think, oh, okay, I'm gonna make $100,000 a year, whatever it is, on this asset, and that's what I'm gonna pay taxes on. Eh, wrong. That's not how you calculate what's, what's considered your taxable income, okay? As far as real estate, like the rest of your, your life, it's basically based on whatever the tax code says. Cash flow income, uh, sorry, taxable income begins with the property's revenue minus operating expenses, what you have come to know as the net operating income. From that point, unlike what we know or we learned about cash flow, the NOI is then reduced by everything you spend, but, e but either by everything the current tax code allows you to duck, to deduct. For example, you cannot deduct your entire mortgage payment, but you can deduct your interest portion. So that's another reason I don't put money into my mortgage because it's not a tax write-off. What is a tax write-off, what I can deduct off my taxes is the interest payments I pay on it. So that, that was just a side note for the previous thing we talked about, which is mortgages. You can also deduct depreciation and amortization. Okay. However, um, if you take what we talked about in depreciation, take the, the portion of the property, it's the building, not the land, you can write off that portion over what the tax code calls the useful life, which we described in depreciation. This write-off is called depreciation. It, if you make uh, an addition or capital improvement to the property, that too is considered uh, a write-off through depreciation. Another item you must, that must be deducted over time instead of when it's actually spent is the premium you paid for obtaining a mortgage. So what we call points. Lenders, bankers, they'll charge you percentage points to actually generate a deal, okay? And those things you gotta subsidize just like the depreciation that happens over time. This type of expense also you amortize over time and you deduct over time.